All right, I'm gonna do a quick video here on the Velocity where I just swapped out the motor. Uh, it's all blogged on Endless Sphere, all the picks. I'm just gonna do a quick little test run here. I have a awful 36 volt battery pack made out of two hoverboard batteries and like 14 gauge wire or even smaller, it's probably 16 gauge. But I got the Kelly all wired up, uh, phases all taken care of, everything soldered, uh, everything routed so I can put the cover on and cover it all up. Obviously we'll have a water drip issue, I'll have to address that, maybe I can put some uh, tire tube around it and then sealant right where it comes into it, and then maybe I can add a weep hole in the bottom of the can so in case it does get wet at least it runs out and drips out the bottom. But this is one of the uh, special uh, Velocis, which was very customized, it has a downhill fork, it has a uh, Magira Julie brakes, hydraulic front and rear. It's got a giant rear sprocket. It had a slight wobble to it, but I was able to uh, get it pretty straight. It is aluminum, so as long as you don't go bashing it on anything, I'm sure it'll be fine. Motor swap went uh, fairly successful. Uh, found out the new motor has its own hall sensors built in. And it's got nine wires coming back from the hall sensors. Apparently they ran a home run for every positive and negative, which is a pretty good thing, I guess. Doesn't hurt. So I just got the old, uh, I think, what is that, a Domino throttle? Or an old Magira throttle, I don't know. But let's give it a try. I gotta put the phone down here and kinda get the positive wire in here. Spark. All right, we got the positive wire in. Green light on the controller. Wheel off the ground, of course. And we have life. Sounds pretty good. Smells all right. Obviously very slow because it's got this giant sprocket. That's full speed right there. But uh, I'm planning on running it on at least, uh, I don't know, 15 to 18 cell. I don't want to push it and have another magnet fall off, but I'm planning on having this bike to be an off-road bike uh, for a lighter weight person, possibly uh, somebody to go riding with, with my Kuberg. So I can ride the Kuberg and somebody else can take this. All right, I got the bike powered up with a pretty half-assed uh, 15 cell battery pack made out of uh, a 10 cell. 18650 pack and then a 5 cell 18650 pack both different brands doesn't really matter uh, I got it all powered up and it's on some pretty small wiring it's like parallel 14 gauges or something small so I'm not gonna put a ton of current out on this but I just want to see what the top speeds gonna be was the top speed uh, I guess you could say it's probably 50% higher than the 10 cell just going off the 15 cell voltage uh, I'm just gonna get it on the ground and put around with it at 15 cell to see how it does and how the motor is uh, taking current and how it feels cogging from a stop all that good stuff and uh, we'll go from there Oh. 
Well, I was having a couple of issues with the motor moving inside of the housing since nothing keeps the stator in place at all, uh, except for these four pinch bolts right here. So on my first, well, it smells like burning rubber. I shouldn't have did that. I just cleaned my tire off. But uh, on my first attempt for a test ride, I got this 15 cell battery running off really small wiring, but uh, nothing's heating up, I'm testing it. But my motor moved and I almost hurt one of my phases because it uh, it almost tried to suck it in. So as you can see, I put these two permanent marker marks here, marking the, uh, the rope holding my stator winding down. And uh, now I can see if it slides. And since I've uh, tightened up these four bolts, well, I loosened them and moved it back to position and then tightened them down real tight. And uh, now I'm ripping around on it and I haven't had any issues. Um, able to pop the wheel up, give it all the torque the motor could really take, especially with this battery. I had the uh, hydraulic brake locked and I was trying to uh, start the, mo the motor from a stall. And uh, a couple of times the red light was blinking on my controller, probably because of low volt or something weird cutting out. But the thing gets up and goes, uh, the, the rear sprocket helps with torque a lot. That's why you need to increase voltage. I think with 15 cell, it's still not really that fast. I'd estimate maybe 30 miles an hour. So might have to step it up a little more. Like, I don't know how much more you can go. Um, these motors seem fairly smooth and the hauls being built in is even more of a plus now, but from a stall, they, they still have, they still struggle a tiny bit with torque. Once you get going, it's really nice. But uh, a lot of problems, a lot of motors have these problems with startup torque. That's why I use the uh, LRHDD motor because uh, it seems to not have that problem. But uh, we just need to get this out on the trail with a light rider and see how it competes. I think it's gonna be pretty fun.